up, bigger viewers? I'm here at Mactan International Airport Terminal 1 because it will be another Big Air Adventures or Big Air Tours. And I'm just bringing with me my backpack because it's just a, a domestic flight. It's later on, we will be going to one of the most Instagrammable places here on Earth. So I'll see you guys later here in Big Air Tours. So guys, we finally arrived safely here in Buswangi Airport. Um, it's the airport of Koron. I'm just waiting for the transportation service that I have the own through the travel agency. That's a twin travel, um, twin travel agency here in Koron is the least expensive or the most affordable that I can find online but if in case that you have not found anything online you can also check through the vouchers or brochures that are found here at the airport because there's a lot of travel agencies here so I'll just wait for the travel agency service and I'll gonna get back to you here in video tours We're here in our room. Um, it is still part of the tour or twin travel tour package that I availed online. So just a quick tour. Again, it's a budget travel, so it's not really a very fancy room that you might expect, like a hotel or something. This room is an air-conditioned room, as you can see. And it has three beds. One, that will be my bed. Two, and this is the third. So, since it's a solo travel, I'll just be here alone. And, by the way, aside from that, it also has a private shower room. Just like this. <laughs> okay. So, it has a washing machine. If in case I'd like to wash my clothes or do my laundry i think i can utilize that so i asked the staff earlier how much this room would cost the air conditioned room cost 1000 pesos good for two guests while the fan room on the other side happened to be 600 pesos so 
if I would be the guest, I'd rather get the air conditioned room since it's just 400 pesos per day or per night difference. So later on, I'll have the city tour. So I hope you'll stick around for you to see more of my solo travels here in Koron with Big Ear Tours. So guys, we arrived here in our first stop for the first day of Koron tour. This is the Luwalhati Park and it is also where the pickup and drop off point for the tourists to go on island tour or island hopping from one island to the other here in Koron Palawan. So it's basically just a park where you can see this sign which is Koron and I'm not really sure but I have to find out why this place is really relevant for Koron aside from being it's the drop off and the pick up point for the island hopping so later on we're gonna have another stop which happened to be the gift shops and of course the iconic Mount Tapia so I'll see you guys later here in Big Ear Tours Samples of their specialty sweets. It's like the cashew tart and the normal cashew. And we also have the sugar coated cashew, just like that. I don't know if it's really that visible. Most of the delicacies here cost 65 pesos for this like the brittle, cashew brittle. So, it's just normal. I really love cashews. Especially when I went to El Nido. I bought like 3 kilos of cashews. 1 kilo is slightly salted, 1 kilo is just the regular, and the other is the sugar coated. Yeah, so normally I get some souvenirs or these delicacies on my last day just for me not to get short on money and um, I'm also in a tight budget so I could not really spend a lot for souvenirs right now but maybe on the last day if I still have an extra money I of course will get something for my family back home Especially the cashew nuts, like this. Yeah. For this bag, it's 250 in this popular souvenir shops. But I'm not sure if in other shops it's, it costs lesser, but maybe. So, after the souvenir shop, guys, which is just right there, see that? We're walking towards Mount Tapias where we can have a great view of Koron Palawan and hopefully we can get to see the magnificent sunset because that's what I'm really here for and I think there's a, there's a lot of tourists up there and it may take me about 30 minutes for me to go up it will take 750 steps for you to be on the top of the mountain. So I'll see you there, here in the Gear Tours. Hey, we're 
close guys um, it just took us about 20 minutes to climb up on the top of Tapias or Mount Tapias so I think I'm on silhouette my background is showing so just don't mind me here let me just talk because there is more view up there so don't worry I'll show it to you later here in Big Ear Tours and please don't forget to subscribe okay I know guys why they put the Mount Tapias on the first day of our itinerary because you need to have a great stamina especially on your legs and of course it's good it's a good cardio workout so if you're gonna have this on your last day I think you're gonna get very very tired and you will not appreciate this view exercise that we had here in Mount Tapias we'll go to another destination here in Koron where we can relax and make or treat our muscles especially the legs with a hot water and that will be in Makinit Hot Springs trying their hot spring it so happened that we got here a little late so it's really crowded just right there but it's a great place for us to relax especially that we went on hiking um, they do have a little hot spring jacuzzi ish and there's another one right there and here so I'll definitely try Makit Hot Spring here in Koron oh, it's really really relaxing but I think I'll have to switch to my GoPro camera just for me to have a waterproof camera for this but, so I'll just relax
Good morning, bigger viewers. Yes, um, it's my second day today here in Koron. My apologies that I wasn't able to record my realization and tips for my first day trip yesterday because I was really tired because of that 750 steps. But then I was able to relax at Makinit Hot Spring. So going back to my tips for my first day travel here in Koron would be to be honest, you don't have to spend a lot of time going to or roaming around Ubalhati Park because it's a common place. And then just don't forget your electrolyte drink because you're gonna sweat a lot, especially. Hold on. Yes? So going back to my trip, guys. Um, so again, don't forget your electrolyte drink, and as much as possible, eat lots of potassium-rich food like your banana for you to avoid cramps. Because you have to go up 750 steps for you to enjoy the view of Coron Palawan, and then don't forget your camera because it is really a magnificent view um, if only we were we were able to stay there up until the sunset but since we are in the nick of time uh, kami for the Makinit hot spring so hindi na kami and stay up until the sunset so yun um ano pa uh, yung entrance fee ng uh, the entrance fee for Makinit Hot Spring is just 200 pesos and that entrance fee is already unlimited. If you will be going there in the morning, you can still use your ticket up until the evening. So it's still a great deal and aside from that, you can also use their cottages there for free or which is already part of the 200 peso fee that you paid for. So I think that's the tip that I can think of for the first day trip that I had here in Koron, which happened to be first the Luwalhati Park, where it is the port or the pickup um, area for you to go on an island hopping as of this moment. And then second itinerary was the souvenir shop. Um, just do your canvassing because you can do your shopping on the last day, right? And then the third itinerary was the Mount Tapias and lastly, Akinu Hot Spring. So I'd really like to know if I missed something else or very important information about the itinerary, itinerary that I had. So please put that on the comments below and I will greatly appreciate that and we, so that we can also read. So there. So. I'll just have my breakfast and after my breakfast you're gonna have the super ultimate tour so I'm gonna see you guys later and please don't forget to subscribe for you to see more of my adventures here in Koran and some parts of the world here in bigger tours